Okay, I told you all on the last video that I would show you another one, a little more complicated because the last piece of art was crazy simple. And want to run through it again here for you. Um, mentioned a couple other things on here. When you go to Walmart, um, and if you do the one-hour print, I would say ask the individual to bump you in line because they have a capability, um, the folks working behind their photo counter. If no one else is there and no one's printing online, they can bump you and you can have your one-hour photo print done in like five minutes. So, all right. Going off here, grafted exoskeleton, a lot of fun, a lot of spicy in the Kozilek and other decks. Um, makes it a, a big infect commander hit you in one shot. It tends to be a lot of fun. So, going to the piece of art here that I want for this one. Grafted, oh, that's the one I did previously. I'm going to go to this new one here. This is the art I want to actually create. So, sizing appropriate to what I want. Move it over. I think that looks about good. It's going to be some nice overlap up top. Yep, place the file. And then I'm going to start messing with it. Now this one I put right on top just to make it real simple. I'm going to mess with the contrast a little bit. Make it, try to make it a little brighter so it really stands out through those card sleeves. Even this one might, the contrast going the wrong way, it might actually stand out some. But yeah, I think this is good. It wants to be nice and scary for what this card actually does. So, all right. That's that. Now I'm going to merge the two layers, the brightness layer and the photo because if you don't do that it just changed everything else so i want specifically these two merged together now i'm going to duplicate the layer identically and i'm just going to move it to the back so the front and back look exactly the same align perfectly and all that oh didn't take try again okay now it's in the back. Now to prove it, we'll turn off the front. Yep, there you have the background, the layers with all the text, and now the upper layer. So we start having fun deleting the top layer. Delete. Nope, didn't do anything. Because I'm probably not clicked on the right layer. There we go. Now, delete. Yep, that time it worked. Zoom in here. Capture. Yep, delete. Off click, on click. Delete, off click, on click, delete, go over to the side, do it again. Now I'm clicking right here, I'm holding down the Alt button on Photoshop while I do this, the Magic button, it just makes it easy. Hit delete, so you can do Alt or Shift to add or subtract. So this one, I'm just clicking. Now if I want to at, uh, subtract it, I hold down the alt, but so I'll do that again. Come on, sometimes it doesn't always catch. If I want to add to it, I would hold down shift and start highlighting even more. I don't want to do that. I want to hit hold down alt and subtract from that because I don't want to get the colored pieces in there. I want the colored there, and I only want the background to show through, or what we consider the background for this art. There, delete. Okay, because we want to get that little piece, that see through piece in there. Now, what makes this more complicated in this case is because the CMC cost, you can't see it. So one way is to go find the CMC cost, that ellipse that was made specifically for this effort. So there's the number four, and there's the ellipse behind it. So in this case, I want to rasterize it. Oh, looks like it already is done. Oops, not moving it all over. Okay, I'm going to highlight that layer, and I'm going to want to move it. Now, you see, what you didn't see me do is I actually highlighted the whole thing, and I hit the up arrow. Since it's a rasterized layer, I have a perfect cylinder of what that CMC cost is going to be. Now, that layer, it's highlighted on there. It's selected highlight on there. Well, if I go to the next higher layer, I'll just say delete because it deletes from the selection, not the object itself. So now I have a perfect layered CMC cost. I can click off of that, and basically my card is done at that point. So... I mean, I know people take lots of hours to do that, but, and you could even overlap this down here if you want. I've, I've done that on plenty of cards, but this card's basically ready to go. So I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to save it as a JPEG, because that's what gets imported into the different styles, or into the, the photo template here. I'm going to go over to the photo template, and I'm actually going to grab, oh, not that. I'm going to grab the file itself, which was, happens to be up one layer. Yep, that's the one. So I'm going to grab that, throw it into the photo template, 
and size it. These are again perfect sizes for printing inside magic sleeves. If you build these yourself, um, it just takes like it took me two tries to figure it out. It was really simple. Duplicate layer because you're damn sure I have more than one copy of this card. There we go. So now that is ready to go. I'm going to save this file as a JPEG. This prints is a fir uh, perfect four by six at Walmart. Um, very easy to do. And the key on this was getting it in sleeves. Now this is photo paper. These are not trying to be fake proxies. I slip these in the front of all the real cards because I only play with real cards. I don't play with proxies or anything like this. This is custom art for fun, not to be making money. Um, it, it's just to spice up the decks, have a little fun playing. Uh, use it a lot in instants and sorceries that are only out there for a few minutes. Uh, once you get with a good play group, you know, they have no problem you using some of these uh, proxies because they know you have all the cards. Um, other groups, like I play competitively in a commander tournament, um, some people don't like them in there at all. So you just slip them out and slip them in behind the real card. Makes it real, real easy to do. So that's all there is to it. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you have any comments, uh, questions about how I did something, if I ran through something too fast, just let me know. Thanks again.